Many drivers have absolutely no clue what happens under the hood of a conventional automobile, and yet they love their cars and use them effectively every day. The same holds true for some EV owners, although I suspect that a higher percentage of EV owners have at least some idea of what's going on. In honesty, there's no real need to develop a deep understanding of the underlying technology to own, drive, and enjoy an EV. But it's nice to have a basic understanding so that you won't be snowed when you encounter EV jargon. In addition, it's very likely that your family, friends, and acquaintances, not to mention random people who walk up to you in a mall parking lot, will have questions for you. Lots of questions. Simple ones like those you see on your screen and more complicated questions that we'll answer in this and other EVU mini courses. But before we do, it's not a bad idea to have some basic facts and definitions in your back pocket. Let's begin with basic EV terminology. It's not at all difficult, but there are a few basic ideas that you should understand. In conversations about EVs, you'll run into these simple terms. The battery and charging, volts and amps, kilowatts, and kilowatt hours. A friend and colleague, Nick Howe, provides a simple explanation of these ideas in his best-selling book, Owning Model S. The analogies I'll use on the following slides are drawn from Nick's book. It's reasonable to state that the battery lies at the heart of every electric vehicle. That's why it's important to understand the battery and the way in which the battery is charged. The internal battery structure is a technical detail better left for more advanced EVU mini courses. For now, let's understand some basics. Nick Howe suggests that the battery is like a bucket that you can fill with water. The bucket can be empty, full, or partly full. Charging an EV is a lot like filling the bucket. And when you drive an EV, it's a lot like emptying the bucket. Of course, you don't fill the battery with water, you fill it with electricity. And the electricity doesn't come through a water pipe, but rather from the electric grid, then into your house, through a plug into your charging cable, and finally into your EV. So how does that happen? Actually, there are two electrical terms, volts and amps, that come into play, and I'm sure you've heard them before. But I also suspect that there are at least a few of you who don't have a clue what they really mean. Nick Howe provides the following description of volts in his book. Volts are like water pressure. If the pressure is high, water will shoot out of a hose at great speed. Likewise, the higher the voltage, the faster electricity will flow. Amps are a measure of electrical current and are analogous to the volume of water that comes out of the hose. The more amps, the more current is coming through a particular circuit. And that's important because the more amps delivered, the faster your battery charges. Our discussion of basic concepts will continue in part two of this EVU mini course. But before we get there, let's summarize. You need to understand basic concepts so that you can answer questions and follow a discussion of EVs without being lost. EV terminology is relatively simple. The battery and charging, volts and amps, kilowatts, and kilowatt hours. We'll continue our discussion of these concepts in part two of this EVU mini course.